This area of Segria which has unusual rock formations is a mystery. The large rocks that are in the vicinity would have been used as foundations for small assembly halls. The surrounding nature has not been disturbed. The water that runs down the rock has been manipulated to come down as a waterfall. The mixture that was used to build these walls is of a very high standard. This is believed to have been built after King Kashipa by King Mughalan when Sigiriya was established as a monastery. At the end of each rock there is a cave. Some of these caves are believed to have been used by bhikkhus who lived in the area before King Kashipa. There are about 30 such rock caves and golden arches found at Sigiriya. This is called the Cobra Hood Cave, a dramatic rock formation. It dates from the earliest phase of occupation at Sigiriya and bears a donatory inscription belonging to the last four centuries BC. Archaeological findings have revealed that bhikkhus had lived here before and after King Kashipa. It is believed that these drawings are the most dramatic manifestations of the painter's art of Sigiriya. It is nothing less than a masterpiece of expressionist painting, displaying a considerable imaginative range and artistic virtuosity in a way not seen elsewhere in the surviving paintings of the Sri Lankan tradition. Since Kashipa was not the son of King Datusena's chief queen, he was not entitled for kingship. But Kashipa was able to grab the kingship from his father and Mughalan. Datusena's son escaped to India. King Kashipa was blamed and held responsible for the killing of his father. Some Buddhist monks have had differences amongst themselves. Therefore, there were some who supported King Kashipa in this parricidal act. Venerable Mahanama, who wrote the Mahavansa, seems to have opposed King Kashipa. Hence, he was written just a few lines on Kashipa in the Mahavansa. This area of Sigri requires special attention amongst all other rock gardens in the world. The surrounding nature has not been disturbed. The bhikkhus who lived at Segria before Kashipa would have migrated to Pidurangala when they realized that the king was turning the rock to a harem.
main construction period of Sigiriya is considered to be 477 AD. This is the assembly hall. It is believed that the king used to spend his evenings here. It is also believed that the king's coronation had taken place at this spot. There is no evidence to show that this rock had been cut in half. But nature seems to have helped the king in transforming it to suit his purpose. Isn't this a good example to show that if one has the will and the strength to do something, nature too will be of assistance? Kashipa didn't rule nature. What nature gave him, he used to the fullest. Even the forest surrounding the rock was not disturbed. 